Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making fizzing bath cauldrons for Halloween. They are loads of fun for kids and to make your skin feel amazing. So grab your respirator and follow along. This is our recipe for a 600 gram batch. It should make around five to six cauldrons depending on size. Um, you can find the link to the cauldrons in the description below. I'm starting off with a bowl of 360 grams of bicarbonate of soda. This is what gives you the fizz. I'm adding to this 12 grams of SLSA. Uh, this is a surfactant that will give you bubbles as well as fizz. It enhances the activation and gives you a soft, luxurious, bubbly feeling. Wear a respirator when using SLSA um, and if making these with children you can omit the SLSA and replace it with cornstarch instead. Um, then I'm adding 15 grams of kaolin clay as it's really lovely for the skin and gently mix this by hand so it's all combined and then you can add your wet ingredients. For these I've got 15 grams of sweet almond oil, 9 grams of fragrance oil, I chose toffee apple, and six grams of polysorbate 80, which is a natural vegetable derived emulsifier. This just ensures that your oil in your bath fizz will bind with the water and not leave that oily residue on your bath. And mix them into the dry ingredients by hand again until you have the texture of wet sand. Once you have the wet sand texture, you can then add phase C, which is our citric acid. It's important that you leave this until last to avoid your bath dust activating too soon. Um, so mix this by hand until combined and then separate into different bowls depending on how many colours you want to add. Add each colour within the max percentage allowance to each bowl and mix again with your hands until the bath dust is a uniform colour. Go easy though as you may not need the full stated amount if using pigments as they're a lot stronger than mica and they may stain, stain the skin if you add too much. So here's our three bowls of colour, um, Halloween themed of course, and what we're going to do is get our little cauldron pots. They hold about 100 grams. Now you can either leave this to dry in the bowls overnight and then just kind of stir it to sort of like a crumbly hard bath dust, or you can fill these up straight away while it's softer. Um, I like to fill it while it's softer because you can compact it down and make it smooth on top, um, but it's really up to you. It'll still foam the same way when water is added. Um, so we're just filling up our cauldrons like this, we're doing half and half, you can do it however you want. Um, and then you just leave these to dry overnight um, and then they're ready to use. So let's fill up our other ones and then give them a try. For making bath bombs it's good to have a humidity of around 50 um, but if you don't have a uh, dehumidifier um, or <laughs> very good weather for it the best thing to do is put these in an airtight container once you've finished making them and let them harden in there and it just prevents uh, early activation from moisture in the air. To use them you just put under a running tap in the bath just like you would a bath bomb um, and they leave your skin feeling absolutely amazing afterwards um, but let's set these off now and uh, see what they look like if you want to make any substitutes with this recipe then you can substitute the oil for anything you like uh, you can substitute the kaolin clay for arrowroot powder or cornstarch. You can substitute the SLSA for cornstarch if you're working with children and don't want them near SLSA. Um, you'll have less bubbles, but you will still have a good fizz. 
you will need the polysorbate 80 if uh, you don't want that oily residue on your bath so I highly recommend finding that but it is easy to come by. Uh, I'll try and put a link for that in the description. If you'd like to see how to make bath bombs rather than bath dust, I've linked that video in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell, you know what to do, uh, just so you don't miss the rest of my Halloween series this month. And if you want more content, then I have exclusive recipes, guides and cosmetic business mentoring available via my Patreon, which also gives you early access to the YouTube content, and that's linked below as well. And let me know if you make these. And don't forget, always wear a respirator when working with fine powders. I've linked a very good one below uh, if you don't know where to get one.